cookies. Uh, I hit 200 subscribers. Holy moly! I really did not think this through. Oh my gosh, this weighs so much. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Hi, welcome. Today's a historical day. I hit, this is really aggressively in the way. Recently, I hit 200 subscribers. What the hell? We're at 200 now, and honestly, if I had 200 people in my apartment right now, I don't think 200 people would fit in my apartment, honestly. But to be fair, I'm really bad at like gauging and estimating numbers. For example, if there were more than 10 people in my apartment, I would say there's like 50 people in my apartment because I just, for some reason, I can't. My brain doesn't compute when it comes to numbers. We're gonna be baking 200 cookies today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of people do this and I thought why don't I jump on the trend now? I'm cheating a little bit. I am I'm gonna be baking a bunch of cookies from these tubs of pre-made cookie dough because I wanted to save myself a headache But what we are gonna be baking from scratch today are some snickerdoodle cookies from the delish insane sweets cookbook I felt like it would be a complete cop-out if I didn't bake any cookies from scratch I did get some chocolate chips in case I want to make some chocolate chip cookies from scratch as well But we'll see if that ends up happening regardless 200 cookies start time is 10 45 a.m we'll see how far we get we also will see how many cookies these can make because i was only gonna get one tub but then i was like 200 cookies is kind of a lot i'm gonna start off with this my goal is to kind of make small cookies the size that you would get from that like what's that cereal called anyway thanks so much for 200 subscribers what the hell like as i said before 200 people is a lot like if i the, me talking to 200 of you right now when people reach the like million subscribers i don't know how you don't get like camera shy and like stage fright because even though you're not talking directly to that many people and not that many people necessarily watch your videos entirely like you're not always getting the same amount of views as the amount of subscribers that you have but still that's a lot of effing people and I don't know how I don't know how we do that also this isn't full all the way I don't know what my game plan is I was kind of just sitting in my bed last night and I was like let's make 200 cookies today I texted my friend that I was gonna be baking 200 cookies and she literally said are you psychotic like are you out of your mind no I just wanted to celebrate and I also wanted cookies I'm gonna let these come to room temperature a little bit I guess I'll heat up preheat my oven or do I really want to do that right now oh no okay while these come to room temperature we're gonna bake start making the batter for the snickerdoodle cookies and then once that batter is done I guess we'll see where the texture of these is at but I also need to wait for my butter to get to room temperature I really did not think this through also, my snickerdoodle recipe says it only makes 13 cookies. I could squeeze out a few more than that. I'm hoping that each tub will give me like 50 to 75 cookies. And then that would give me like either 100 or what's 75 plus 75? So either 100 to 150 cookies, right? And then I would just need 50 snickerdoodles to reach 200. 200 is a lot. Now, okay, hacks for getting butter to room temperature quickly that I've seen is that you like boil water, pour it into a bowl, and then you empty the bowl, and then you put it on top of the butter, and then it like creates steam around it. So we're gonna try to do that, I guess. <laughs> Three baking sheets. We also, we only have one oven rack, so I can only bake one sheet at a time anyway. But at least in that way I can like switch things around kind of quickly. One, we have a couple of different drying racks. Or not, no sorry, not drying racks, cooling racks. This was one that like turns into three. Like it, you can like pull it up and they stand on each other and it becomes three. We're gonna use this table. I'm just gonna take off the things that are on it. And then that way we have a designated table for cooling and it's out of the way. Wow, perfect. And now it's out of the way and I don't have to use any of my table space or my counter space. Oven. Let's do the dry ingredients first. Should I double the recipe? 
I want to double. And now we need to, we're gonna do the boiling water thing. Steamy. I guess, I don't know. I feel like I'm doing that wrong. We're gonna just let that sit for a few minutes. And now, wet ingredients. I have this huge bowl. We need to beat the butter, the granulated sugar, and the brown sugar into light and fluffy. So I'm just gonna measure the sugars into here first. Two cups of brown sugar. Oops, literally. <laughs> Hello, I need to measure it. Oh God. Okay, whatever, that's fine. Okay. We're just gonna, we're gonna call out two cups, okay? Two cups of granulated sugar. Woo, these are sugary cookies. Plugs in my kitchen aren't the most ideal, so we need to plug it in behind the trash. Plug in. I'm so scared this is gonna be, this is always the part that makes a mess because I never let the butter come to room temperature. I ended up just kind of like ripping them into smaller pieces so that hopefully it doesn't create as much of a mess, but we're just, it's gonna be a mess. Let's get the eggs. We need four eggs. One, two, three, four. We should just add small bits of butter at a time, right? I guess I'll, oop. Okay, yeah, we're gonna start with that much, I guess. Okay, you know what I think I should do? I think I need to put this in the microwave, not in this metal bowl, but put this in the microwave for a little bit and then add that in because these pieces aren't breaking down. So it won't become fluffy and we need it to be fluffy. Okay, first batch. Okay, add one egg at a time. We add the dry. I hope this bowl is big enough. Oh, this is an arm workout. Holy moly. Ah. Whoa. We have a dough. Holy moly. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This weighs so much. But it's a dough. Guys, we did it. Quick cleaning break done because I like cannot stand when I have a messy kitchen. So I just have to, I, you have to clean as you go. And also my oven, my oven refuses to start unless you fold that down, the like turning on thing for a really long time. Anyway, I digress. Time check, 11.30, so it's almost been an hour of me making one batter. How it took me an hour, I don't know. Okay. Now here is the real test of like how many cookies we can fit onto one baking sheet and how many cookies this batter will give me, which will then tell me how many cookies I need to make with my chocolate chip cookie dough. So we need 200. I feel like we should make them relatively small, right? Excuse me, I'm trying to vlog. Hope everyone's okay though. I feel like I need to celebrate all of the small wins because I just have wanted to do YouTube. Truly ask anybody from my life. I've talked about YouTube and wanting to be a YouTuber and like whatever. And they will all say like, that I talk about it a lot. I feel like I just, I don't know, I have this like, I just have this weird thing in my life where I feel like this is what I meant to do. That makes sense. I'm trying to make them around this size. So they're still like a decent size. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll try to fit six per row. Or no, we'll do six, five, six, five. This is gonna take me forever. <laughs> it's so cliche and like gross to say, but the only reason why people can be YouTubers or like do influencing or like any sort of job in social media is because of the people that follow them. That's why I'm making 200 cookies for you guys because each and every one of you deserve a cookie, you know? Oh shoot, I realized I didn't put, I didn't roll all these in the cinnamon and sugar mixture like what you're supposed to do 
with snickerdoodles. So these ones are gonna be naked because I'm not gonna go back through now and do that. Three rows of six and two rows of five. That's 28 cookies. So then that way we just need to make four trays of this. Then we'll only need like a little bit less than 100 of the chocolate chip cookies, right? Okay, that doesn't feel too bad four trays of this. Here's tray one. So we're gonna put these in the oven now. How long do they take? About 13 minutes. First batch. Bake well. It's been about 10 minutes and I feel like because they're so small, I'm gonna take them out now. Ooh. We've got the second batch going here. Guys, it's all happening. It's batch two going in the oven. And now we'll take these off. I feel like, honestly, pretty perfect. definitely severely underestimated how much how many cookies this dough would give me and like how big I needed to make the cookies because with this batch here I now have a hundred snickerdoodle cookies done and we still have quite honestly like a lot of dough left here and then still the two tubs of chocolate chip cookies I could have made these so much bigger which is why I made this batch here like a little bit bigger so I think what we're gonna do is just make a bunch of bigger snickerdoodle cookies to get us to maybe like a hundred and 25 or something and then we'll need 75 chocolate chip cookies we're already at 100 guys and it's 12 27 so it's been an hour since i checked in last time and we're halfway done i'm just like i'm kind of just laughing to myself because this is kind of ridiculous like why am i making 200 cookies obviously for you guys but i mean like what am i gonna do with 200 cookies okay so we're just we're gonna make these ones much bigger and the bowl is empty. piece of dough <laughs> only a small amount left in here so we're just gonna make the rest of these now actually this box out perfectly as well because we actually have 204 subscribers so I'm gonna try to make four more cookies so that we have exactly the amount of subscribers in cookie form <laughs> I have not burnt one batch yet, which I feel like kind of impressive. We have a little system going here where we have all of the cookies kind of like piled up on to each other now. They're all cooling down. Now that I'm at the finish line, I'm like, hell yeah, let's go. But it definitely, I was losing steam, which is why I didn't really pick up the camera and talk to it halfway through because I was like, we just gotta sit down, get it done, and then I can talk to the camera. <laughs> but I see that the end is near. Wow. But also, Again, I'm really bad at gauging numbers. This doesn't look like that many cookies to me. Like, yes, 200 is a lot. That doesn't seem like an ungodly amount of cookies. I also haven't eaten one. That's some restraint right there as well. Just as I said, everything was going so smoothly. We have our first casual tea. I don't know how it's taken this long for me to not drop any of the cookies, but alas, alack, there she is. And just like that, two tubs worth of cookie dough and a homemade batter of snickerdoodle cookies. We have our last tray 
of cookies. First bake this tray and take out this one. But, oh no, I think I got a little sloppy with the sizes towards the end because this tray is also stuck together. It's okay, it's okay, they're still cookies. They'll still taste good. Okay, I found that 11 minutes works pretty well because the bottom is done, but it still makes them a little bit soft on the inside. Like you can see here, the outside of the cookie is like pretty perfect, but it's still kind of gooey in the middle. It is now 2 p.m. And we started this at what, 10.45? I feel like it's not that bad. I thought I was gonna be doing this until like 4 p.m. or something ridiculous. Okay. These ones are stuck together too. The last tray. Two more cookies. Da 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 da. Bake well. There they are. The final two. Wow. And this, ladies and gentlemen, what 200 cookies look like. We've got our three tiered cooling rack and our regular cooling rack right here. Full to the brim. All in a hard day's work, huh? I'm gonna try a small snickerdoodle. Mmm, pretty good. And then I'll try chocolate chip cookie. Mmm, delicious. Oh, also not 200, 204 cookies. That's it for today's video. I will be eating cookies for the rest of the week. But thank you so much for 204 subscribers. What the hell? Here's to many, many more. I will see you guys next week. But yeah, thank you so much. Bye.